Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this flat design bike. Alright, let's get started. We're only going to be using three colors right here, this light blue, this black and this light grey. And we're going to start off by pressing L and making our wheels. Wheels are going to be 85 points in diameter. Go OK. And what we're going to do now is with the wheel selected we're going to put object path and offset path. We're going to offset the path by three points inwards so it will actually be minus three right here go preview like so and so all of the shapes that we're going to be making today have a path or have a stroke of three points so like that great now we have the wheel we have the rim and we're going to select this and we're going to hold shift and alt and move it to here and then go shift and alt and we're going to move it to right about that middle space right there and delete this and now our wheels are properly spaced then we're going to create a cassette here at the back, about that big. It's going to be, there we go, it's going to be black. And centered, where is it my center here? Somewhere right around there. And I'll hold shift and we're going to move it and make the hub right here. That's oh, a bit high. And here. It's also a bit high, like so. Great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start making the frame. So we're going to select this, hold shift, and bring it to right around there where it intersects. And our frame is going to start off at about the halfway mark between here and there. So roughly about there. Hold shift. And we're going to bring it up to just above the wheel on this side, like that. Now this is going to be a blue color. My eyedropper tool is not working today for some reason. Now we're going to delete this like that. Then we're going to create a line from this point to our cassette. From our cassette straight to roughly about this point here. And then up to here. And then we are going to use the pen tool. Starting off from right about here and ending at our hub. Click and hold and give it a slight bend. It just gives it a little added effect like that. Then we're going to collect, get another line from here to roughly there. And now we've built most of our frame. An additional part, we're going to create, go from here a bit higher to roughly, we'll say about there. And that's where our seat's going to be. Now, to create the handles, we're going to extend this line out up to the same height as the handles, right there, and then out from there, like so. Now we're going to create a small circle. So from this point, hold shift, uh, about that big, it'll bring you down to there. Then using our direct select key, we're going to delete this point and this, and then we're just going to move this to roughly there, so it intersects. Then we're going to create another little circle, smaller than that one, hold shift, that should do it. And again, we're going to delete this point, and we're going to delete this point like that, and also this point, like that. And we're going to select this, we're going to put it right there, and this is going to be our brakes, so we're going to select this, and we can rotate it, shift like that. And actually, let's go this way, like that. And that's gonna be the same color as our, our rim. Like so, and just bring it to roughly there. Now we see that's a, it's a bit cramped right there. So let's select all our points, move them out just a bit. So, roughly to there. And then let's just make sure that this aligns to the same point. Roughly there. Great. So now we've built our frame. Now let's work with our crank and uh, our crank arms and such. So we're going to copy this and we're going to bring it up to here. We're going to give it a color like so. If I want it to be solid. And then we're going to press S, hold Shift, and make it so it's about that big. Give it a stroke of three, just like everything else. Great. 
next things that we're going to do, we're going to connect these two components. And that's by selecting this, going to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And now we're going to offset the path by one point only. Go to Preview, go OK. And we're going to make it black. Then we're going to bring it to the front, like so. I'm going to select this and this. And hold Alt and bring it down right to here. Then we're going to give this a fill. It doesn't matter what the color is. And we're going to create a box between these two shapes with no stroke. So hold anchor and you're going to bring it up to here. And we're going to connect these two shapes by this box. And then we're going to select this. We're going to go to object and expand both. That's okay. And now with our anchor point, we bring it to the top here and to the top of the shape right here, like so. And we're going to select all of this, go to shape modes, we're going to unite. Great. And with that selected, we're going to reinverse this, put it to here, give it a stroke of three, like so. And we hold shift and we're going to bring it up to here, like so. And now we have a chain running around our tire. Great. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the the uh, seat shape right here. And the seat shape's a bit trickier because you can't just use shapes. But it looks kind of like this. We're going to do a click right there, give it a little bend like so. And actually, I want this just to be a black fill, no stroke here. And it's going to go roughly to here. I'll be straight and then up a bit like that. And then we're going to bring it down to here, give it a little bend at the back and bring it down to here. Again, bending and then click to here, give it a bend like that and click to there, give it a little bend like that. I see the back here is a bit too sharp, I'm not so happy with that. We can bend it up like so. And that's your basic shape for your seat. And then you'll have to resize it, make it a bit bigger. But that's the rough basic shape. The last thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna add a couple of elements showing some movement. Now we're gonna do this by selecting, uh, well, let's just make a new circle actually. So we'll use Lips tool, hold shift, about that big is okay. And we're gonna select this bit, we're gonna delete that, we're gonna select this bit, we're gonna delete that, and we're gonna select this bit like that, and we're gonna delete it. And we're gonna place this roughly over here, like that. And actually, I'm gonna manipulate this myself, like so. Like that, okay? Maybe a bit lower. And then we're gonna copy it, bring it over here, rotate it, shift, and bring it down to here. So now it gives the impression that these wheels are rotating. And the final little step that we can add, well, actually we forgot one component. Like I completely forgot about the cranks. So the, the cranks and the pedals, <laughs> almost got there. So let's make them right now. We're gonna draw a straight line from here, just a bit longer than this, like that. And give it a silver color. And then we're gonna copy it and make sure that it's also down there like that. Then we're going to bring this to the back, so it's behind the bike on this side right there. And we're going to give, make it pedals by pressing M and drawing a small cube like so. No stroke and just a black fill like that. Make it kind of centered there and arrange, send it to the back. We're gonna bring it down like so. And then we're gonna do the same right here, hold Alt. And this, we're gonna arrange to the front. So now we have our crank arms and our pedals. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have some movement to here as well. And that's simple by going to here and drawing some little movement lines, like so. And it gives an impression of speed. We can select this one right here and create more lines, like here. Slow, oops. Get rid of that one. Hold shift when you make them. Longer, 
fading it to shorter. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, or suggestions, please write them in the comments below. Subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Check out our other videos, we have tons of great stuff. And of course, as always, have a great day.